Here we show an example of compressing space. And the way you want to compress space is to use a long lens. In this case, we're using a 200 millimeter lens, but we could have easily use a 300 millimeter lens or a 135 millimeter lens, but just, just an example of how you compress space. And at the bottom left, you can see they're about eight feet apart. And the reason they're this far apart is so the, um, Dave can swing the sword safely and as hard as he wants to make it look more realistic. And we're using the long lens to compress the space. If you look at the top, it looks like he's actually able to hit him with the sword. He swings the sword, and it looks like he's actually able to hit him, even though they're about eight feet apart. And why this shot works like this is because of that compression that this lens, this long lens is creating. So whenever you want to do a fight scene or some type of sword fight or something that you want someone to appear like they're really doing something, like for example right here, it looks like he really hits him, but as we know from bottom left, he's eight feet apart. And this doesn't always have to be with uh, a fight scene or swords or something like that. You can equally have a guy, if you want him walking and walking a short distance, but you want him to appear like he's walking a very long distance. You can use a long lens to compress that space and he can just be walking across the street, but it'll look like it's taking him forever to get across because of that compressed space. So here you go. You can just uh, watch some of this to give you some examples. But you can see how far apart they are when he swings. He was just showing that, that um, a long lens equals more compressed space. And we have over 100 different tutorials showing this. And this is a 200 millimeter lens we used at f2.8. And you see the, that bokeh in the background. Sometimes you, if you don't want that, you'd want to shoot at like a higher f-stop. But for this shot, this is what I was looking for. So, you know, we have over 100 tutorials on our DVD set and also lots of free tutorials at filmschoolsforyou.com. So you can head over there and take a look also. We're going to be posting lots of lens tests up and other tutorials so you can take a look around.